All right, Mother Truckers, we got a very interesting topic for you today. Imagine you're a company driver or a lease operator. You are giving the company your $3,500 deposit, but every month now you got to take a picture of the inside of your cab. And if it's dirty, they could fine you for it. You could get in trouble for it. But if you do not take the pictures, you will get in trouble and you will get sent to a nearest terminal where they will inspect you for this. Mother Truckers, let's get into this video. What's going on, Mother Truckers? Uh, welcome to Mother Trucker News. I have a big question that I want to get out there for you guys. Uh, we had a anonymous truck driver that wants to ask the whole Mother Trucker community if this is right or not because this truck driver uh, feels like this violates his or her rights. You know, now uh, just to save my own butt, I'm going to say allegedly that uh this is going on we do not have confirmation you know i'm gonna say the acronym of the trucking company it is a bigger trucking company but again if anyone that works for this trucking company if you guys can comment down below that this is true but you know uh this driver is just putting out something anonymous and wants to know so just woke up to this message this morning from my dm at rti I'm not yet an owner operator, but I am a lease operator. I 100% understand them not wanting us to drill holes or modify the truck till we pay them off. But this seems like a little bit too much considering the $3,500 deposit they have taken out in the event we return the truck damaged or so dirty they hire to cleaning service. My wife comes with me. This truck is practically where we live out of since we don't have a permanent address. What part of the FMCSA ruling says that my truck, aside from the immediate entry of the cab, says I need to keep it clean? Even though we do try to keep it very clean, when you live out of a truck, it can get messy. Now, I'm supposed to tell my wife to make the bed and put her underwear up monthly for a picture of the can or in cab inspection? So, basically, here's what he says, allegedly, that RTI his DM sent him. Hey team, moving forward, we will be conducting monthly check-ins on the status and cleanliness of your assigned truck. This is an effort to ensure RTI's property remains in acceptable condition while you're either leasing the truck or driving for us as a company driver. This does not apply to owner-operators, meaning you have paid your truck off in full. While we understand the need for privacy and do not expect you to take a multitude of photos, we ask that you send a couple pictures of the inside of the cab to ensure truck is acceptable in clean condition. Failure to do this will result in you being routed to a terminal to have the truck inspected by one of our shops or office staff members. This anonymous truck driver is saying that this company, even though they take $3,500 from them already as a deposit, for cleanliness or damage to the truck, they're now making them take a picture of the truck every month or they get in trouble for this. You know, is this right? Is this wrong? Mother Truckers, comment down below. If you work for this company, RTI, and you know what the acronym stands for, then, you know, message us down below and let us know if this is true. But the big question is, is this just an invasion of privacy? That's the big question. Mother Truckers, comment down below. Definitely some interesting topics here today. Truck drivers, if you want to pick up a Big Rig t-shirt for yourself or a loved one, make sure to visit one of our certified dealers. The Big Rig Tees trucking apparel brand can be found in truck stops and chrome shops all across the nation. Make sure to check out BigRigTees.com to find a location near you.